What is up everyone, Jeremy here. Now listen, I'm actually on vacation this week, but my good friends over at Bogren Digital just emailed me the brand new two Madsen Signature IR pack. So obviously I had to download it, I had to check it out, and I wanna record a video of me doing this with you all. So I'm checking it out for the first time along with you. You get a chance to hear what this thing sounds like. And if you dig it, obviously there will be a link down below where you can go and grab it. Now, Two Madsen is a world renowned heavy music producer who has worked with some of the biggest names in metal. You know, one of them, maybe you've heard of them, little band called Meshuga, uh, Dark Tranquility, uh, let's see, Suicide Silence, Hate Sphere, The Haunted, Nemic, the list goes on and on and on. Over his 25 year career, he's had a chance to work with a lot of bands. So this man knows what he is doing. So I am very excited to dive into this IR pack and see what it sounds like. So let's get into it. All right, so now to demo this pack, I've got my trusty OD guitar Venus model here with the bare knuckle pickup Ragnaroks in it. This is going into my Neural DSP Quad Cortex. It's only being used as an interface though. It is not doing any processing uh, from there. The signal chain I'll pull up here is, first it's going through my own plugin called the Howler. This is an overdrive slash EQ pedal. Uh, does some other things underneath the hood, but that is then pushing a signal into the Neural DSP Omega Ampworks Granifier. You can see the settings I have there. Uh, the pedal is off here. I will note the plumes is off. I'll just turn off that entire section. So it's just the amp. I've got the IR section turned off as well because then we're going into the STL Tones Ignite Libra IR Loader. Uh, this has the two Madsen signature IR pack pulled up and then just pro cue here for fun, basically, just so you can see signal coming through. And with that, uh, let's just quickly run through the pack itself. So what I noticed here is this comes with clean IRs, lead IRs, and rhythm IRs, which two, it looks like two has mixed these IRs, potentially multiple IRs together uh, for the rhythm pack. And you'll see those down here where they say mix. So you have these clean ones through here, you've got lead ones through there, and then the mix all the way down here, and then some raw in here as well, which I'm assuming were the individual IRs that went it together in these mixed IRs. Uh, maybe if someone from Bogger Digital or someone knows more info, hit the comments and just let us know there, but that's what I'm assuming is the case here. So, so just right out of the way, I'm not gonna touch the clean and the lead IRs for this video. There are probably gonna be tons of videos out there of people demoing the, the cleans and the leads much better than I can myself. I am not a lead guitar player and I don't ever really play clean. So I'm just gonna jump to these mix ones and just do some chugging here and see what it sounds like. So first one up is Harry Coffee. Really, really good. I mean, this first one already sounds amazing. And one thing I will point out is obviously all these Bogren Digital IRs, they go through some of the best hardware on the planet. So the, these producers, they when they capture these IRs, they're going through the incredible mics, incredible preamps, incredible EQs, all in the hardware, you know, in the hardware world, not through any sort of software or emulation, so that it's all captured in the impulse response itself so that there's less work you have to do afterwards because if you're running these IRs through multiple layers of EQ and all this stuff, it doesn't work as well as if you EQ it as it's coming in as you're capturing it. So that's really kind of like the big selling point for all these Bogren IRs is they're, they're kind of all processed in the analog realm and they just sound so damn incredible. All right, let's keep going. So, spare ribs. So this one has a little bit, a little bit more 
top end. Not necessarily top end, but like upper mids are coming through, a little bit more throaty upper mids. You can clearly hear that in the top end. Next up, Wall of Dark Death. Yeah, immediately you can tell that one's way darker. Like, compare the, the last one to this one. Sloppy as hell. All right, uh, let's see. Tractor Lab. God, these cut so hard. It's amazing. I love how kind of like throaty they are in the upper mids there, I'm hearing. And that one is beefy. You hear all that low end? Craft, your craft. Love that. Aggressor. Furriness. So right off the bat, like listening to all of these, there is a really good range, like tonal variation in all of these, which is really awesome. So you're not just getting, you know, a few tones out of this. Every single time I click this to a new IR, it's just totally new tonal territory. So just clicking, click, uh, quickly clicking through them. Man, say that five times fast. Quickly clicking through them you can hear how massively different they all sound. Hugely different. All right, where, where was I? Aggressor, furriness, messy scamp. That, that one right there sounds amazing. It's just called Modern.
I really, really like that one. That sounds so damn good. Light, nice and beefy low end here on this one. Less top end. Okay, and so we're into the raw ones here. I'll just quickly click through these. Lots of top end on that one, and I noticed the previous one had a lot of low end. Or it's much darker. So you could easily take these raw and start combining these to create your own impulse responses. Now we're into the cleans. All right, so there you go. There is a quick run through and some ex audio examples of how good these IRs sound. And this is just the rhythm IRs. Obviously the cleans and leads are gonna sound freaking mind blowing as well. Uh, as, we, as we come to expect from everything Bo Bogren Digital puts out. Uh, and you know, they, all, they also tout these as mix ready. Um, obviously there's no such thing as something you're just gonna take and drop in a mix and it's gonna work perfectly, but because of the EQing and the processing they've already done as they're capturing these IRs, there's far less work you have to do on your part. And I have no doubt you would be able to take these, drop them into any of your sessions with some very minimal tweaking. You can have some of the best damn sounding guitar tones you've ever had. So this, just like any other impulse response pack Bulgren Digital has, has released so far, is an absolute must have. So if it's on sale right now, which I'm sure it is because they just launched it, don't, don't pass it up. Just hit, hit the link down below, grab this, and, uh, and add to your IR collection. And these incredible IRs will certainly, certainly come in handy, no doubt about it. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. Now, if you liked this, do me a favor, hit that like button down below, and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content like this in the future. And with that, I wanna say thank you for watching, and thank you for your support.